Now here we see the river contributing to our biodiversity again. Because this field floods each year, it is an area in the middle of the town that has been very much left to nature. The mare and foal graze the fast-growing grasses that would otherwise outcompete other plants. And we can see that rare thing, a field that is a tapestry of different species of wild flowers. For many insects, a meadow full of flowers like this is a summer-long source of food. Long-tongued insects like bees, wasps, butterflies and hoverflies drink the sugary nectar to give them energy to move and fly. Many species also feed on pollen, which is a source of protein to build eggs, larvae and the new generation. Our various species of bumblebee spend the summer collecting pollen, which they carry in baskets of hairs on their back legs. They take the pollen back to their nests to feed the young bee larvae. Some of the wild flower species we can see here are the white clustered flowers of yarrow, the taller clusters of yellow daisy-like ragwort or bucalorn, and the excellent bee flower, red clover. The undisturbed nature of this field means it yields a surprise in providing a home for a relatively rare species of plant in Ireland, the prickly lettuce, Lactuca seriola. This has nearly finished flowering now, but the seed heads will form a useful source of food for birds. And here's another surprise. This is Canadian fleabane, Conitsa canadensis, a plant that was first recorded in Ireland in 1963. It can now be found popping up in several locations in Clonmel. As it is an annual plant that dies after it makes its seeds, it is not a cause of concern like some other foreign plants that do well in the wild here, like rhododendron. You may see the Canadian fleabane growing in cracks in the pavement or, as here, on walls.